Hey guys, so are you looking to install multiple versions of Python on your Raspberry Pi? Well, having to do this manually is pretty difficult because you have to manage this yourself. And on top of that, are you really going to download, build and install each Python package individually? Stop. There's a much easier approach to do this because in this video, I'll show you how to use Pi ENV to install multiple versions of Python. And we'll walk through how to set each Python project to use a specific version. So let's get started by either connecting to your Raspberry Pi using SSH, or you can start its terminal session. But before we do anything, let's run sudo apt-get update, and this will make sure that we have our package repository updated. We're gonna run a pretty long command to install some system packages. But do yourself a favor and copy this command from the video description. Please don't manually type this in to make your life a lot easier. So these are basically dependencies that we absolutely need. And just be a little patient here because this will take anywhere from five to 10 minutes to install, depending on what you already have on your Raspberry Pi. And once those are installed, we can now move on to the next command which is gonna install Pi ENV on our Raspberry Pi. And once this is done, believe it or not, we already have the tools that we need to install any number of Python versions. However, you'll notice that there's a warning that tells you we haven't yet added Pi ENV load paths. And the best way to do this is by updating the RC files based on what shell we're using. So if you're using regular bash, you can run sudo nano to update the .bash rc file that's in your home folder. Go all the way down and then add these four lines. And by the way, these are in the video description, so you can just copy and paste them in here. But once you're done, you can save changes with control X, followed by Y, and then hitting enter. But if you're using ZSH like I am, you should update the .zsh rc file. And here you're adding the same lines at the very end of the file. Don't forget to save changes with control X followed by Y and then hitting enter. And really there's no harm in doing this for both files if you wanna be flexible here. To apply these changes, we do need to restart our shell. So let's run exit and then either reconnect using SSH or you can just simply start a new terminal session on your Raspberry Pi. And to make sure that Pi ENV is loaded and working correctly, you can run Pi ENV V, which tells you what version we've installed. And it's recommended that we have the latest version of this tool. So to do this, we'll run Pi ENV update, which will take care of this for us. And now if you want to see which Python versions are available to install, you can run Pi ENV install dash dash list and then find the one that you need. But let's say you already know what version you want installed, like 3.8.1 for example. It's easy. Just run Pi ENV install 3.8.1 or whatever version that you need. So this will take a few minutes because it's downloading and installing the entire package. But once it's completed, you can verify this by running Pi ENV versions. And you'll find that the newly added version of Python is added to your list. And typically there are way too many versions of Python that are available, which might make your head spin. But don't worry because you can easily filter this list out based on what you need. So for example, if I'm interested in all the Python versions that are available under 3.8, what I need to do is run pi env install dash dash list and then pipe the grep command that matches 3.8 as the major version between 1 to 9 for the minor version. And you can see how it only returned the matching entries for 3.8.x. And to keep installing more versions of Python at any time, just run pi env install. So in my case, I now have both 3.8.1 and 3.8.2 on my Raspberry Pi. 
and to check which versions of Python you have, you can run PyENV versions. As you can see, nothing is set to default yet because we haven't yet defined a global version. To do this, you can run PyENV global followed by the Python version that you want to use by default. And if you rerun PyENV versions now, you'll see an asterisk next to the global version. So to do a sanity check, you can also run Python dash V to confirm that this is true. Okay, so now for something a lot more exciting to make Python versions a lot more manageable. Let's say you change your directory to where one of your Python projects are located. So if you run PyENV local followed by a Python version, you've basically told your Raspberry Pi that this project is now tied to that version. So while I'm in this projects directory, if I now run PyENV versions, check out how Python is now using 3.8.1 locally, which is different from the global version. However, if I go up one directory and then run PyENV versions again, boom, it automatically switches to 3.8.2 which is what I had set as the global or default. So this is the beauty of using PyENV. Whether you're working by yourself or as a team, you can let each Python project use whatever version it needs based on its location. And how this works is pretty simple. Each time you use the PyENV local command inside a directory, it creates a .python- version file to mark the specific version for that project. But what if you wanted to completely undo this local setting? So in other words, you want to revert changes to use the global or default version for a project. This is super simple. Just navigate to the Python project using CD. And once you're in that project's directory, you can run PyENV local dash dash unset. So if we run PyENV versions now, you'll see that it starts using 3.8.2 again, which is our default. And finally, for our last example of managing Python versions, let's say you temporarily want to set a new Python default version just for your current shell session. You can easily do this by running PyENV shell followed by the version. So in my example, you can see how I set my global Python version to 3.8.1. And the benefit of this is if I exit out of this shell session and then relaunch it, it reverts back to the original or default Python version, which was 3.8.2. So depending on how you plan on using Python on your Raspberry Pi, you now have the option to install multiple versions of Python, set different versions of Python for each project, and temporarily set and revert global versions at any time. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to create different Python environments on your Raspberry Pi. This will help you install Python modules for each project in different containers. Thanks for watching. And for more on Raspberry Pi or Python, please consider subscribing to this channel.